All right, welcome. This is The Last Starship, the demo. Um, the Last Starship is a starship building fleet management game sort of thing by the developers of Prison Architect, Uplink, uh, Introversion Software. So I'm keen to see where it goes. Um, so as I said, this is just the demo, the, the full release, well, early access release, I think it will be, because this is alpha demo. And will come out, I think, sometime in February. We'll see. First time I've opened it up, so let's see how it goes. So we've got a bunch of different, it looks like, starting ships that are locked in the demo. We can start with Praxis, best for new players, a small science vessel with all the necessary equipment for interstellar adventure, in provision with enough supplies for a small crew. And we start off with not much money. Make your new ship ready for flight. A reactor generating power. Ooh, cool, we've got ships docking in. Does it have space pause? Space slow. Okay, so... We need a reactor, engines for propulsion, test the engines, life support to make the interior inhabitable, FTL capable hive space, and jump to the mock location. So it's telling us we need a reactor, a fuel loader, I'm assuming a fuel line. So I'm assuming we're going to here, install, reactor, fuel loader, and I assume we do a pipe. Okay, you can definitely see the um, prison architect's like vibes in the background there. So we've got contracts and jump. Okay, we've already got both of those. Editor. Okay, so this is where we do the actual hull of the ship, I'm assuming. Do some trading. Got different overlays. Jobs, habitation, exterior, atmosphere, schematics, power cut. Yes, well, we don't have any power. I wonder if they're going to get animations in the... Uh, Later versions. But it's quite a cool little style. Nice sounds, you can hear them walking around. I put a pipe in, didn't I? No. Cool little startup sounds, that's nice. Okay, so then we need engines. See, there's a PowerPoint over there. Ah, oh, and there's a PowerPoint over there. That's why. Okay, there we go. No? What's the problem? Why are they not capable? I think we've got a ladder. Does that mean we can go up different floors? that I've connected them through there. I didn't realize they were different tank types. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna test them from the tactical screen. Oh, cool. Okay, well, we can see. I'm assuming that's a planet we've got there, and we've got. Oh no, that's just a background thing. So we can go closer to the starship over there. Star base. Interesting sort of view. Okay, so it's not a sort of Newtonian thing because you slow down when you're not thrusting, which is a little bit weird, but fair enough, makes sense gameplay-wise. Okay, and then we can do FDL to jump to that. Oh, 
Ooh, so now we've got a moon over here. Got missions. Destroy the hostile forces, passage and transport. And we've got a trade ship over there. I see the evasion goes up the faster you're going, so I'm assuming that'll be good in combat. Okay, so we've got passengers. Lots and lots of identical looking people. So then we need to go to there, FTL, prepare jump. Fuel supply. Okay, we're gonna have to buy more fuel at some point, I think. We've got a bunch of ships for sale, most of them in the millions. Tiny one, sexy one, armored beast, another science ship like ours. Jeez, that's a massive chunk. And then a crusher. And this one's decked out with stuff. Let's see what we've got over here. Lots of cannons, thrusters, batteries, fusion reactors. Big tanks, waste treatments and water and all that stuff, rail guns, lots and lots of engines. Interesting. Cool, so that gave us money. Okay, so. I see there's also a rank there, humanitarian rating. I'm assuming that'll give us better, better jobs and stuff in the thing. combat industry, humanitarian logistics. So you can specialize, I guess, in passengers and I don't know, rescue missions and stuff, the humanitarian logistics, I was assuming transport and industry mining, I would guess, and manufacture and combat self-explanatory. Okay, so that's completed. For this, we've got to install sensors and then power them and stuff, so Hyperspace sensors. Let's get some fuel. Incoming hail. Design custom sensor package that will give us the information we need. These sensors will collect data from the anomaly while you're in hyperspace. The closer you can hyperjump to the anomaly, the faster they will collect data. Send your research funding as you collect data. Capture 10 data from the anomaly and you'll send the first funding and grant. I'm assuming that's something that will come out more as they develop the game, because um, there was no talk of the anomaly. I'm assuming it might be the big black thing over there. Um, I don't know. Yeah, you see, as we get closer there, it's gonna, it's getting bigger. So I'm assuming that means something. You actually have to buy ammunition. You've got bullets, railgun slugs, cannon shells, water, food. Probably not a bad idea to get some water and food. We do have some, but let's get some more food, I think. Don't know what rate we use it as. It would be nice to see a rate of consumption over there. Oxygen, probably not a bad idea to get some. You buy crew, you can buy spacesuits. These are very expensive, so we can't really get those right now. Industry, we get mining lasers, smelters, ice grinders, drones. Need a drone bay. I'm assuming we don't have that. Oh. 
Upgrade storage zones. How do we do that? Storage, there we go. Well, I'm just going to make a big old zone like that. And I can just put everything in there. So I don't really understand this habitation deck thing. Um, I can see our capacity thing over there. And it produces sewage. But it doesn't look like it's something that we can just see at the moment. Uh, unless there's keyboard shortcuts that I don't know anything about. I don't see anything. Controls. Now we've got fuel loading in there, so it was mixing the tanks. I just had to uninstall and reinstall. I guess we lost a little bit of oxygen with that. I'm assuming that they were bug fixed that, and like when the final game comes out, it'll actually drop the canister or something. Otherwise, it's just wasted. But I don't know. Okay, we just lost 100 water and 120 uh, food. So it looks like water is consumed about five times more than food. We can't do the combat mission yet. We can do a cargo thing, or we can get more money with that, so I'm going to do that. Okay, it looks like we've got space for more, so we're going to do that. Good jump. Jump. And you can see our life space sensors were doing something for a second there. Mining ship over here. Money, money, money. Okay, so that gives logistics. Unreachable. Is this expanding? That might be expanding. Which maybe means we're going to fail those missions if we can't go there. expanding so we can no longer do that mission okay so is this, this sort of that FDL kind of thing where you've got an advancing thing and there is an advance to next sector sort of thing there so it's sort of just like FDL's got that thing except it's just a different thing it's not an advancing fleet it's a uh, Strange anomaly thing here, which is cool. Makes more sense why you can't go back. If I had known that, I wouldn't have taken on all those missions, but that's fine. I don't know what happens if you fail a mission. Yes, yeah, so we just get money every time, uh, the more data we get. So there's our destination star system one. So you would have to look. I'm assuming NC1 is star system one. Which means that it is a mission that we can do. That one we're not going to be able to do. It's going to expand by the time we get there. So that's why the size of that circle is changing. Because that's where it will be when you get there. So we could maybe try to do that Hostiles mission if we go there right now. So we would need to get... Gatling gun, close range rapid fire weapon system. Defense against fighters and ordnance. Rail gun, extremely accurate long range weapon system. Fire the soil slug. Precise penetrate through hull armor and destroy equipment inside the tow ship. 
whoever draws a huge amount of energy. And then we've got a regular cannon, medium range, launches barrage, explosive shells at the target. Cannon shells are excellent dealing area of effect damage to an enemy ship or shred hull armor. So price-wise, we've currently got 117k, so we could maybe get a cannon and two Gatling guns and then a bit of ammo. Rail guns is too expensive. Stack of five. That's all our cash, basically. I mean, it's demo. Let's just see. Oh, we're getting money now anyway, so that's cool. Okay, rank one contract complete. Senior humanitarian. I don't know if that changes contracts we can get. Yes, it's okay. You require different logistics or whatever ratings for different missions. I'm not going to take this mission if I don't know if I can get there. Research Institute mission. We've received your prelim like preliminary sensor data. Fascinating. Looks like the anomaly is expanding and the rate of expansion is increasing. Just paid your science grants at 10k. Catch 100 data to unlock more funding. The closer you fly to the anomaly, the faster the sensors collect data. Well, we're going to get pretty close if we do this thing now. So let's install a Gatling gun. Put one over there, one there, and our cannon. We're gonna do a frontal boy over here, um, and then we want to do a storage of cannon shells there, and we want to do a bullets over there and over there. Then we're going to need cables for power, and I'm assuming we need power like that. Okay, cool, and a little cannon pops out over there, Gatling's over there. Oh, I, we can't actually fly there. It looks like going too close to another system will block it. There's some sort of like grav thingy like they've got in a bunch of sci-fi stuff. So we have to hop to this one first. Let's see if that's possible. Getting more data. It does seem to be accelerating the closer we're getting, so that's cool. I'm not going to do any missions here because we don't know how things are going to go. We might want to maybe just buy some stuff, we can get some FTL charges, some fuel, we've got a lot of oxygen, get some water. Okay, let's just wait for our stuff to get in here. So now we can go to that. I like the little docking port thing retracting like that, it's cool. Lots of data from this jump. Yo! Hostile contact fighter. Fighter launcher. So he's got six fighters and he kind of looks like a, <laughs> um, what's it called, a bishop from 2001. Um, so our cannon is at the front. So let's Get our throttle up. Low power. That's not good. Let's go slow motion. But does it? It should be at auto fire, right? Okay, so they don't seem to attack. Okay. Yeah. 
damage. Okay, we're getting too close to their systems. Interesting little combat system, I quite like it. Um, just need to get used to the... So we've got about a range up to about there. The sounds the it's got that deep rumble of uh, sound transferring through the hull. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to try to get behind him and maybe just cut my throttle a little bit. For a 16% damage, they're 53%, so we're lucky that they were just fighter dudes, not, not so a big combat ship. I'm assuming if we had the right ooh, a dead body, um, the right equipment, we could then salvage stuff from the the deadness. However, at this point, we can't because we don't have anything, and all our stuff is a little bit damaged in here. Now, can we tell our dudes to go repair the hull? Give them materials. Give them salvage. Will they just do it automatically? I'm assuming we then say also suits on. Um, if we got damage, we got a leak, we would have to go do do some work like that. Maybe our people aren't. Onto those jaws without their suits on. Doesn't look like it. Um, doesn't look like they do any repairs unless you need a specific type of people. We've already got a scavenger ship in the area. Wow, so they just already came up over here doing stuff. Ooh, vultures. Okay, so. Let's see what happens as we fly. We're going to be very close to that edge of the um, anomaly. We've got a lot of data there. Because we're so close the whole time. Science award captured 100 data. Cash, 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 cash monies. Also cool in the back one, you can check the anomaly is just massive. Now received 100 science points from your senses. Thank you. This is invaluable data. I just sent you another 100k. The next bonus will be 1 million for 1,000 sense data. And buy more hyperspace sensors at star bases and colonies. So you can get more data by doing more scans. Um, okay, fuel. We've got a fair amount. FTL jumps. Uh, we would need a couple more, I would say. Shells, we went through about 11. So let's just maybe get two stacks more. Um, and 
maybe a few more bullets. Battery might not be a bad idea, so we can store some stuff up. Do we have enough fuel? Let's just get a little bit more anyway. So it looks like maybe we want to do a CO2 scrubber and stuff like that. Waste treatment. Outputs dirty water and compost. Okay, so we're going to have a, like a water purifier. That's for mined stuff. We've got an oxygen maker to ex extract oxygen from water. Convert CO2 into breathable oxygen. That's not bad. So I'm wondering if we get a CO2 scrubber, air reprocessor, and maybe another tank for CO2 excess, then we would have a little bit of um, long-term stuff. Um, do we have to go into the editor to repair? No. Okay, I'm a little bit uncertain about the repair mechanics. We've got a CO2 scrubber. Put you there. Got a small tank for you, and then an air reprocessor that I'm going to put. Hmm, we're going to have crossing tanks over there, which is not ideal. Well, if we put that there, then we don't have to worry about it. So we've got a pipe going from there to there. That's up to there, and then there. Is that and then cables everything else should be plugged in that every, oh yeah we've got batteries that we want to put in and then I'll put them over there so now we should just be gaining oxygen as our co2 now decreases I'm assuming there would be something that would happen uh, if co2 gets too high um, it would probably be like a conditioned thing or something like that. Um, remember, this is an alpha demo, so there's probably a lot of stuff that's going to come later, help and all that sort of stuff. Um, so far, I'm really liking what I'm seeing. Um, batteries are charged up. That's nice. Okay, I'm not going to take up any more missions. I see we've got evacuation ships now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, let's, let's just move. And as we get further away... That shrinks. That's really cool. This is where those ships were for sale. It looks like they, they are on discount now because we are near the end of the you know, the sector's lifespan. So they're like, ah, oh, just, just buy our ships. <laughs> we need to make some money before we evacuate. So if we go there, okay. Jump. I just want to see what happens now when we go to the next sector. I'm assuming this will just automatically jump us now since we're in here. Jump to next sector. Interstellar travel. Episode 1, The Trouble with Tidlets. Nice reference there. Coming call, Tidlet Breeder. Greetings, we're looking for a pilot who can help us with an important animal welfare matter. If you'd like to help us and earn a lot of credits, please find our job in the contracts list. If you're going to give us trouble, this, uh, I want no part of it. Some of the cargo has been delivered to the wrong location, you will not be paid. Yes, I know that mission was a failure because they couldn't go to that place. The trouble with Tidlet's 400k, that's quite nice, isn't it? Um, the animals aren't dangerous, sure. It has special requirements for smooth. Must be closely followed, they will not survive the journey. Oh, well, let's do it. 400k of the entire litter is delivered safely. Let's see the, the chaos that's going to happen now. Thank you very much for helping with these unique creatures. If I'm honest, we have struggled to find a captain who is willing to undertake this mission. I wonder why. We've left you with a litter of eight female tidlets, along with some comfortable traits for them all to sleep in. How many are going to be there when we finish? We're going to have like 800. Please take very good care of them. Assuming it's free, though. 
One crucial detail you must adhere to in order to safely transport these tidlets. They can survive up to 12 seconds in hyperspace safely, but anything beyond that risks them dying of shock. Okay, that's an interesting way to do it. Please be very careful when choosing a hyperspace route. Okay, um, I didn't actually notice that. I'm assuming the green circle is going to be our um, 12 seconds because I don't see any other indications. So it's probably that green circle. So we're going to have to manage our little jumps like that. Oh, that's quite cool. So it's, instead of being the uh, the anomaly now, it's this. That's quite cool. Okay, we've got hostiles to destroy in this system over there. This is going to take them to 31. And that'll be star system 20. Two things into star system 20. Which one's star system 20? Up there. A little bit out of our way, but um, it's two missions to the same spot. And then the other one was um, 31 down there. Well, I read if we do this, then we can jump to there, then we can jump to that mission, jump to that, jump to that, jump to that. Something like that. Uh, 11 cabins, we've got that. There are tiddlers, by the way. Definitely triples. So we had eight, right? I wonder if there is a breeding mechanic like in Star Trek. Let's see. Um, anyway, prepare our jump. I'm kind of getting excited for the, the final game because just an alpha demo, this is it's kind of fun. I can see myself playing this a lot. <laughs> Told ya. Oh my goodness, we were certain all eight were female, but clearly we made a mistake. No shit. You would suggest you separate them, but Tiddler's reproduced telepathically. And only ever during hyperspace travel. So keep the jumps to a minimum. Tiddler's live. 16. Yeah. Only slightly problematic. Supplies to star system 31, that's where we were going, right? Yeah. We're willing to pay a generous price to anyone who can supply us with one or more tidlets. Sure. I can give you eight. Mm, no, I don't I don't want to give you all of them. I've got another mission. 10k for every tidlet. I mean, if we do a lot of jumps, we could make more money than that other one. Okay, so now we need to get down to there. We're going to have so many of these tidlets. Okay. We've got 22 now, so it's not a direct one-to-one -one ratio. I guess it's the length of the jump as well. Um, Okay, we've got hostiles over here. This might be dangerous because we haven't been able to repair ourselves, but um, they haven't been doing it. Unless there's a mechanic that I don't know about. So it, as I said, it's early, so things will still be explained, but it, it does feel like, how the hell am I supposed to repair? Like, I'm telling them to do that, and they're not. So we're going to need some more FTL fuel soon. Meteor shower. Okay, we've now got 42 tidlets. We're rather damaged, 20%. We've got meteors coming in. Oh, geez, we need to actually avoid them. Hostile Praxis Pirate. Oh, cool. Our ship actually fires upon the things.
not a good idea. Maybe we should do our right side towards them this time. We just got hit by the meteor. We're very damaged. We've got low fuel because we're burning so much at the moment. Shoot. 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 Oh, we're going to ram him. Oh, we just went right through them. I didn't think that we could do that, but... Fair enough. So our advantage is we can shoot from the front, they can't. got hit by another or they got hit 97% we're almost dead how damaged are they not that damaged I'm gonna put suits on I think this is where we die uh. okay shoot damage shoot Shoot again. One more, one more, come on. Yeah. Hostiles eliminated. We did it. We did it. <laughs> okay. Well, that was the last starship. And um, she's gone now. <laughs> so that's the demo for the last starship by the creators of uh, Prison Architect, Uplink, Defcon, Darwinia, you know, all those. Really cool, sort of a, a mix between sort of shipbuilding games and things like um, FTL for the sector things and then a little bit of cool ship combat. Really cool. I'm interested to see how it develops further. You can check out the demo. Um, I believe they will be taking part in the Steam Next Fest and then having the early access available sometime then in February. So let me know what you think. Let me know what else you want to see me play and uh, thanks for joining in and... Add the game to wishlist and um, yeah, see ya next time. Bye.